another episode of my makeup collection according to brand and this brand is the brand of my boyfriend Mark Jacobs you know I absolutely love this man I love his makeup I love his perfume if I could fit in them I would love his clothes too um, I know a lot of people like when he does those little videos they'll put like shitty comments about him because he, he it's just about the, it, I, I love all of that and I don't care how put on it is I just love it and the packaging on his makeup is incredible the quality of his makeup is incredible so I'm pumped the thing is it's super expensive so I don't have a boatload of it but what I have I really really love I'm gonna start with the perfume and I have these two gorgeous minis on Sephora when you're in the store there's that little aisle of of doom where they get you with all those small 15 to 25 dollar items this if you were in the store would be there I got them online because when you check out they do the same thing they they give you a selection of two or three 10 to 15 dollar items and this was together in a box the two minis it's the original daisy and the daisy oh so fresh and it just each has one daisy shaped like the large size bottles and I just love mini perfumes and these are adorable. Then I don't actually have the original Daisy in full size. I'm embarrassed to say I have two of the Daisy Oh So Fresh. I love this smell and I have a, a like an airtight memory for visuals not always for words. So I had bought this one uh, one summer and it's beautiful with all the beautiful orange pink and green flowers on top and the perfume itself is a pale really pretty pink then I saw this in the store a year later and I was like well that lid is different because there's like a like it's a paler green and then there's a peach and there's white and that wasn't on the other one and the color of the perfume is different so I assumed it was a new formulation and I bought it and when I got home I realized they're both oh so fresh but I've used um, you know about an eighth of this one and I think this summer I will clear this one out and then I'll just have the one left but it is beautiful packaging and this perfume I didn't even smell it before I bought it but now that I do smell it when I did smell it when I got home I love it but look at the lid like it's just this beautiful big and it's like rubbery it's not plastic so even if you drop this it wouldn't break the little green leaf on it and then it's like uh, looks like gold rope wrapped around the bottom and then even the bottle is beautifully shaped and of course it's um, Olola very pretty very summery scent I have found all of his perfumes so far that I'm showing you are very summery smelling including this gorgeous little number this is the honey by Marc Jacobs and there's like a bumblebee at the top and a bumblebee on the side and they have these big giant pearls on their back and then it's got the polka dots so pretty he came out with a perfume called dot that had red and black packaging like this too and I didn't buy it but um, the honey I thought was so beautiful and I love all things that smell like honey and of, of the perfumes I've just shown you this is the one that Denise enjoys on me the most uh, and it's just so pretty so he comes out with all those summer fresh light pretty cute fragrances and then he comes out with this. This of course is decadence. It is the packaging is decadent. Even the way the uh, string is tied in at the top of the tassel is like a complicated little braid action. It looks just like a purse and this perfume so this whole piece comes off and then you've got your spray here. This perfume there is nothing summery and fresh about it. It's sophisticated, it's sexual, it's um, nighttime and smoky and drinking bourbon and being draped in velvet and getting your freak on. <laughs> That's what this is about. And it's beautiful. And Denise bought it for me for my birthday and then I sprayed it on her and I want to eat her with a knife and fork when she's wearing this. So she's been wearing this scent but I'll keep this bottle. I'm not one who keeps uh, perfume bottles but this one I will because it's just so gorgeous. Now we will get into his fingernail polish. I love the formula of his fingernail polish. I absolutely love the packaging. Look at this. It's narrow this way, really wide that way, all ovaled out with the black and the silver and then the color of the polish. Um, the formula is dreamy you just pull that top off and then you've got your polish it's very expensive one complaint why'd you put a dinky cheap little brush like that 
I mean, everything you do, Mr. Jacobs, is absolutely top end, top shelf. If you can make it any fancier, you do. But you cheaped out on that brush. It's not a great brush. Uh, what I would love to see happen in here is one of those beautiful rounded flat wide brushes. They are the best brush for painting your nails with and they would it would suit the quality of this polish. And because my collection is not big I will take the time to tell you each of the colors I have. I have this one which is Madame and it's a gorgeous nude and it's a nude that makes your skin look beautiful at least my skin it doesn't make it look washed out and then I have Gatsby and this is beautiful it's like a real frosted sort of bronzy maybe almost rose gold very very gorgeous you know what just saying that makes me think I think I might like to have a drink today and watch The Great Gatsby Denise is giving me thumbs up she agrees this color in the summer cannot be beat it's called Snap it's just a beautiful bright orange. I haven't shaken it up for a while so the color looks a little washed out but it is beautiful. All of these polishes by the way are called the enamored polishes. He always has wonderful um, ways that he calls the formulation of his polishes. This beautiful color which I'm definitely enamored with in the summer is called We, oui, and it's a beautiful magenta pink in a frosted finish just gorgeous on the toenails in the summer and every woman needs a beautiful red dress which I'm wearing and a beautiful red nail which is right here this is called poison apple and it's the most gorgeous red it's just that true classy put on black eyeliner and a french beret and go eat a baguette and sip some wine kind of red it's gorgeous one of my favorite movies of all time is Blue Velvet because it starred Isabella Rossellini who if you watch my Lancome collection you know I really really love Isabella Rossellini and this is named after that movie it's called Blue Velvet and look at it it's like a metallic like I would kill for a dress in this color it's like a metallic uh, blue with just a little hint of like a peacock green in it just to add some interest it's so and then he came out with a, a special edition and this I kept the box for a long time on this because it was especially boxed see it looks a little different than the rest of them because it has the full silver lid and it came in this big fancy box and this is called Midnight in Paris and a more beautiful dark nail you will not find it looks almost black but it is actually midnight midnight blue and when you paint it on it's not one of those ones that it's like oh well everybody's gonna think it's black you can tell it's blue but it's the darkest blue ever until you hit black i haven't tried out any of his bottled foundations yet but i did grab this little number he calls this his tinted stick and i got it in light warm and you just pull the top off and it's like this big oval of basically it's got the consistency of like a tinted uh, moisturizer the color is not perfect for my skin tone it's a little bit I think it's like a little bit orangey but it's really really soft and really emollient if you had oily skin I'm not sure you would dig this however if you have dry skin this is gonna leave a beautiful dewy finish he certainly didn't cheap out when it comes to his lip gloss I have one small sample size of his gloss and then two of the full size the sample size is this little number and I can't even tell you what color it is because it's not written on it but in this sample size it's just a regular doe foot this is what the full size looks like again he likes that kind of wide narrow this way wide this way oval look um, the doe foot applicator on this is the bomb which again makes me wonder why so cheap on the brush on the nail polish because he took the time to think about it on this. This color sh is called Shooting Stars and although it looks dark I find it's like your lips but better but with stars in it. It's got a lot of glitter in it but let me show you the doe foot. It's got like a like a concave area on each side so it really hugs the lips and look at the amount of color that that gloss puts out. I love this color. It is so like I said your lips but way way better and with a lot of kind of glistening gloss in it. This one's called Kissability. It's kind of a lighter version of it and on this one the doe foot is like flat and oval and it also uh, works beautifully on the lips and this one is kind of like a dusty 
pink rose really pretty then he came out with these and i only bought one of them but the packaging is adorable looks like a big fat pencil and they're called kiss pop pencils and this one is in the color wham and they're all like silver and then the color of the actual pencil is on the tip and the wham is just what you would expect it to be it's just a big chubby stick but with lots and lots of color impact and I really should buy more of these. Again, it's that cool packaging. It looks like a, a long pencil. It's all silver. The color of the actual pencil is on the tip and on the back end. He calls these his eye sticks and this one is in Twinkle Pop. And it's just like a gorgeous kind of cream eyeshadow in a stick. And this Twinkle Pop is a really beautiful kind of steel gray uh, with some sparkle action in it and really is gorgeous to wash out uh, on the lids kind of like those Bobbi Brown pencils um, and I think I would love a, one of these in blue so I might have to shop for that this summer. Then in terms of his regular eyeliners I only have one. This came in a kit so it's not full size it's the smaller size again the packaging though right is gorgeous and the writing is so small in this I can't tell you but it's it is black and it's a, a mechanical pencil and you just twist it at the bottom and it's a really pretty black you know, all his blacks are super, super black, which is why he does that little play on words with blacker. Then when it comes to the liquid eyeliner, this might be my favorite thing in the entire Marc Jacobs line. I have three deluxe sample sizes of it and one of the large. It is, oh, to die for. You shake it up. It's got the little ball in there. Pull it off. Look at this tip. Can you see this tip? Can you see how fine it is? And unlike that Stila tip, you can use this constantly and that tip is not going to get frayed. It stays super, super fine and check it out. Like it's just, and it is black. But it's not so liquidy that when you have aging eyes like mine, you, you go to put it on and it bleeds up into everything. It doesn't do that. It sets up beautifully, but it's it has that uh, a little bit of a shine. It's kind of halfway between a matte finish and a shine finish, but it stays super, super black. So if you want to look like you've got big eyelashes and you're not wearing falsies, which I'm not today, um, you get that right in close to the lash line. Oh my goodness. Uh, I like it better than the Kat Von D tattoo liner. I like it better than that Stila liner. This is my favorite liquid liner. When I'd love to open this, but I have a bunch of mascara on the go. This is a sample size of his Lash Lifter Gel Volume Mascara, again in the color blacker. I used his original mascara when it first came out and oh, loved it. And I'm sure this one's gonna be awesome. In fact, I think Fleur de Force put it in her favorites this month. So when I work through some of the ones I have opened, I'm gonna dig into this. Then when it comes to his lipstick, the packaging is phenomenal. The form of the lipstick is phenomenal. I have a bunch of them in mini tiny little ones and I love when he does the mini the it's still the bullet looks exactly the same has the little uh, silver thing there's the lipstick and I'll just show you the bottoms so he puts the color on the bottom so that you can see what you've got there and in those minis I have seven of the mini colors oops seven of the minis and there's the colors and then I have one mini I got a mini that was all red one year for my Rouge VIB membership at Sephora and then I, I bought one and it, the, it they're beautiful the whole tube is red like you just even though it's a mini you feel so great pulling that out of your cosmetic bag and applying it and this one is actually called So Rouge so this is that one that's exclusive for VIB Rouge and it is a pretty red look look there's a look right there right <laughs> it's like just so beautiful and then in the large lipstick it's kind of interesting i have four of his full-size lipsticks but each one is in different packaging so i'll start by showing you the original that's what the original lipstick packaging looked like just gorgeous and he called this his love mark lipstick and this is in the color cabaret and his bullets are kind of rounded on the end and that's it on the bottom it's a deep 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 pink almost like a plummy plummy pink and satisfaction oh yeah it has that magnetized closure that we all love then i got my hands on this love mark lipstick that is in a completely red tube and this one's called showstopper and that's it up here it's just a real classic deep red kind of a blue undertone to that to make your teeth look beautifully white again with the magnetized closure but oh, that tube do you know what I mean? His packaging is over the top. 
This is the Love Mark Matte Lip Gel. And so in this packaging, he made the base of them white and the top is a matte black instead of a shiny black. And this one is in the color Gossip. And he shapes the bullet a little different in these. And it's just a super beautiful summertime bright Barbie pink. But it's not fluorescent. It's not that weird thing that's going to make your teeth look yellow. It's a, just, it's a true beautiful pink. Finally, I probably love the packaging on this almost the most. He came out with a collection that he called his New Nudes. And all the packaging is this color. It's a beautiful nude color. It's so classy looking. And I got mine in the color Have We Met. And he puts all the colors on the bottom. And Have We Met. It's a really beautiful corally pink there on the bottom. Now I have two face powdered products and his packaging on these are like, look, it, it, unfortunately it picks up fingerprints like crazy, but he has a lot of black lacquer furniture, which is why he makes his packaging look like that and he refers to it as blacker. This is officially called the Instamark, sorry, hashtag Instamark light filtering contour powder and I got it in the color 4.0 Mirage filter. So you just hit the little silver button to open it. It's got a big, beautiful mirror and then a massive, I mean, I have a really big face and look how big that is, uh, contour powder and then a really yellowy based highlight powder, both matte, both gorgeous. Then I couldn't resist when it came out with the Omega Bronze Perfect Tan Powder and I got it in a color 102 Tantric. Again, it comes in this gorgeous, gorgeous packaging with the big mirror up top and then there's your big pan of bronzer. Uh, it has these cool little ribs on it that look like the sand to me. Uh, no shimmer, no uh, glitter or anything like that. It's a beautiful matte bronzer. Now for the final stuff are my eyeshadow palettes by him. He does have uh, little three uh, pot eyeshadow collections. I have none of those and I don't have any single shadows, but I do have his, uh, what does he call them? I do have uh, his style icon shadows and all of his style icon shadows come in a little envelope that's like this. It's like feels almost like a nylon bag. It says Marc Jacobs on the bottom and in the very bottom there's a small sponge applicator. I'm, I'm not sure what the point of that is but that's how they all come. All of them are black except this one which is the uh, 210 the siren and this one came all in white which is pretty gorgeous with Marc Jacobs written in black again with the silver button you, or a black button you press the button it opens when you buy these new it comes with a beautiful liner here that says Marc Jacobs I got rid of those because it's kind of a pain they all have a mirror in the top and this one has really gorgeous colors that I consider kind of like the colors of fall, fall leaves, fall sky, a really beautiful pure white on the end which I have a lot of fun with and then some like really stunning colors and these have a lot of pigment you don't have to like you see I just touched that and that is all into the grooves of my uh, fingerprints really really great. Then I also got it in 216 the Enigma and this is the original black with the silver and Enigma is gorgeous so it kind of starts at this end with like blacks and grays and then it morphs into these almost like peachy pinks and then down into brown. So you can do a lot of smoky, dramatic, daytime or nighttime looks and uh, that pink or I should say these two pinks right here are so pretty and like the thought of those pinks with these grays or those pinks with these browns, beautiful. This is 208 The Vamp and by the way on the back you can see all the colors and the name. And this one has some really pretty colors too. Kind of the burgundy and forest greens coming down to some browns and uh, blacks on that end. And then these are almost like steel blue grays on this end. Really pretty. This is probably the most popular one. I think most people have this one. It's the Lolita. It's number 206, the Lolita. And it's like the answer to the naked palette, right? It's all those neutral colors, but there is a beautiful glitter here in the middle. My only complaint with the glitter is that it does have a lot of fallout. It's very dry. Uh, so when I'm using this, I tend to put my eyeshadow on first and then put the rest of my makeup on. And then the final piece I have to show you was from Christmas 2014. He didn't come out with anything big and splashy for holiday 2015, but for holiday 2014, there was this. 
the size of my head. This is how big I thought that Bobbi Brown palette was going to be. If you watch that collection, I said how surprised it was, the Shimmering Sands. This is called 224 The Free Spirit Style Icon Number 20. It's got a big wide clip to open it, massive mirror, and then 20 gorgeous shadows. You've got a combination of mattes, shimmers, kind of almost frosts, some really beautiful crease colors, um, gorgeous deep dark smoky colors. This kind of copper penny one in the middle, when I first opened it, that my eye went right to it. Uh, this gold here on the side, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And then even the neutrals here are so stunning. It was beautiful. I don't know why he didn't come out with something equally as uh, dynamic for the holidays this year, but we shall live in hope for holiday 2016. So that concludes it. This massive palette is the last piece I have of Marc Jacobs makeup. I don't want to buy any new foundation because I have a lot of foundation to go through, but at some point, if I ever get to the bottom of my foundations, I would like to try uh, some of his foundations because I've heard really, really good reviews about them. So I have nothing bad to say. The only thing is the brush on the, on the nail polish. Mark, please make that brush as luxurious and beautiful as you are. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying these. Give me a thumbs up if you are. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any. Up next will be Hourglass, so stay tuned for it. See ya. It's